Now we're going to take um, a scroller and show you how that scroller comes out. Here's our, one of our scrollers. This is a rather large scroller. This is our larger scroller. You're going to take that scroller, you're going to lay it into, the, you're going to put it in the oil and then roll it. You're actually going to roll it on the tile like so. That's how you load the brush with, with the uh, oil or work the, br the brush in the oil. You just actually dip it in the oil and then roll it, okay? If you're going to paint with it, you're going to have to load the brush with some of the paint like you did before. Then you're going to take that paint and you can roll it like so and get an effect. Notice what happens when you do that. You can do all kinds of things with, with a scroller. It's a very flexible brush. One of the things that scrollers are especially good for is for making twigs, branches, things like that. You know, so we'll take a little bit of um, a brown color. This is chocolate. And we'll load that color on there. And we're going to put the, the scroller down like so, pushing down on the end and just give it a twirl like so. And then we can come in like this and add to the, the piece that you've got there. You can do all kinds of things with this. This is how we make scrolls sometimes on pieces that we're decorating because we want a little scroll. And we can do that. Or we can build a branch like so. You can make a vine of branches. You can make little curly cues like they have for grapes. You can take the tip end of that brush and just lay it in like so, and then just turn the brush a little bit. You'll get a little effect there that you can work with. Sometimes you, it won't be exactly what you want, so you may have to enhance it. Like so. If it's grapes, let's say, we can paint a little bit of something on the end of this so that it looks like some of the grapes have dried up on the vine. This is pretty rough because what you'll do is you'll refine it by using your wipeout tools and different things. But you see what, what you can do with that. You can see what, what happens when we start working with the scroller brush. You can play with that scroller brush and get some of the, the effects that you want. Now, if your branch has widened out like this one has right here and you want to add a little texture, you can come along one side of that like so, and build your branch, just like that, okay? This becomes the branch right here. That's when you take your little square shader that we prepared a little bit earlier, and you can take, um, That load that you, when you load that brush, you're going to flat load it. You're going to pull that load like so. These are square shaders. They're made flat. So when you take that flat brush, you're going to take that and put that onto this little branch right here. And you're going to pull that color around that branch and make it look more like wood.
pull it, turn it around. Don't, don't hesitate to turn your piece. Pull that right from this space right here. This is where that little branch connects into the uh, wider part of the branch. And then pull that branch like so. And it looks like this. Okay, you want smaller branches, then you go back for your small brush now. You use something a little narrower. You get a really small liner or scroller brush and you load it. Get some of that color on the brush, just like we did before. You're going to take the tip end of this one because it's a very small one. This is a Ought, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. It's an ought. So what you're going to do is use it for small details. Start by taking this area right here. You're going to push that point of that brush down. Okay, do you see what's happening here with that? It becomes very much more graceful because it's very small, very thin, and very flexible. Okay, if you want a little knot, you're going, to use, you're going to stand right up on the top of this brush, right at the point, okay? When you get at the point of that brush, you're going to have the finest place that you can get on your brush. It becomes very narrow, very tiny, and it will make a very small mark. Like so. Okay? All right, this gives you an idea of some things that you can do. It's just a, a starting point, and it is a good idea to practice with your brushes. Try different things with them. Don't be afraid, don't hesitate to try some different things with your brushes because this is how you learn. You need a teacher to help you learn, but you can learn on your own if you're really um, wanting to stretch yourself, okay? Okay. Now you can see the difference. Your scroller is going to add these wider spaces like so. The scroller, the small scroller or liner brush, because there are liner brushes. The difference between a scroller and a liner is that a liner, a liner is a ferrule and it it usually is a natural bristle, but it is a ferrule. The scroller, this is a scroller, a very small scroller. You can see, if you look at it closely, you can look at the very end of it right in here. There's a little crimp right there that's made out of wire, and it holds that squirrel hair down in there. Your liner brush is usually something That looks like, mm, let me think if I've got one here. The liner brush looks more like this, but it has a ferrule so that the ferrule begins, it makes it look like, okay, here we go. This is a liner brush. Here's your liner. And your liner brush has that little ferrule. It looks like a lot of the watercolor brushes we started out with as children. That's basically what they look like a little bit, only they're just a little bit narrower. They're not so wide. They don't have much bristle in it. They're not, not a very expensive brush. They're very, usually very cheap, but they work wonderfully well for drawing, okay? They can be pretty flexible, but they tend to get, uh, they're not quite as good a, a quality of um, bristle so they will tend to 
be a little less apt to be as uh, flexible as this, the squirrel hair. The squirrel hair is very, very, very flexible and very soft. Okay. This brush is This brush is going to do something similar. You can see that that line right there is just like the other. Just a little bit more stiff, but you, it will work for you. You can use it. You can use it for all kinds of things. It's your choice as to what kind of brush you want to use. I will tell you that this isn't as nice a brush as the scroller. The scroller is not an expensive brush, and it's worth it to spend what little more that they cost for this brush. It might be a dollar more than this liner brush, okay? And the liner brush is not going to last very long because of the way that it's made and the cheapness of hair. And it will not give you that flexibility that you could have here with a scroller. You see what I'm saying? You can do all kinds of things with that scroller. This is a much more versatile brush. If I was going to recommend a brush for you, I would say buy the scroller, forget about the liner, because it'll do the same thing as a liner, and it will last longer, and it's more flexible, so you'll use it more. Okay?